Hello everyone, this is Warbird Frank. Welcome to another episode of War Thunder. Now today, I am flying in my 262 with Guka. Do a barrel roll, Guka, I can see you. Do a barrel roll. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm so pumped. Obviously, when I'm pumped, I die instantly. Okay, so the 262 was created to take out heavy bombers such as B-17s, B-24s, and B-25s, you know, smoke on. Okay, so the B the ME-262 was originally going to be designed as a, uh, well, Hitler wanted it to be designed to ground, to do, to do ground strike. It was created by the Measurement Company. Now, it was the, it was the first aircraft, uh, jet propelled aircraft to be put into service. And it was, if you can see, uh, it was one of the air, uh, first air, one of the first aircraft to have implemented swept wing design to it. That gave it less drag and um, more speed. So yeah, um, it is equipped with two Yonkers Yambo's uh, turbo jet engines, ladies and gentlemen. It was easy to maintain. Don't go head on, Guka. Thank you. Get the 17s! Dive, 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 dive! There's so many 17s, oh my god. Run! Oh god. Run, Guka! Dive, dive, dive! Jesus Christ! There's so many of them! Oh, God! Oh, come on! 50 cows, come on! Fuck off! Screw off that B-51. Guka, you're still alive, bruh. Yeah! Go, Guka. Go, Guka. Go, Guka. Go, Guka. Go, Guka. Go, Guka. It's your birthday. Ah, uh, yeah. See ya, bud. Well, P sixty one kept up with me while I was back. Aha, fuck off, P fifty one. See ya. Oh yeah, boy. La 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 la. Oh yeah. La 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 la. Ah, you must suck it. Fifty-one kill bombers. Kill the bombers. Kill them now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, historically this thing was kind of slow, but in real life a 51 could, to a certain point, keep up with a 262. Yeah, suck it. 
yeah, so, I mean, it is a great aircraft. Um, I just wish it had, had a better acceleration time. It just needs a little bit more of a better acceleration time at high altitudes. Because in real life, the thing would um, outperform a 51 in every way, except for a turn. Right, Guka? Yeah. So, Guka, tell me, are you a good Sabre pilot? Yeah, pretty average. Pretty average. That's one thing with the 262. Yeah, so yeah, the 262 um, was designed to take out heavy bombers with its armament. There were actually some with 50 millimeter cannons, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen. Those were used to do tank busting, I think. I'm going to have to read up on my history, but um, may, may, mainly these ones were, um, the 262s were mainly um, used in Ruhr, the Battle of Ruhr and Berlin, because that's where they needed protection the most, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I mean, that's where they were mostly stationed. I think the 2 is getting its flight model next patch, 1.39. What kind of flight model do you think it will have? No, it's getting its proper one. Ah, fuck, really? Yeah. How? No, hold on. Is there any one, any more P-51s up there? Nope, I don't think there is. They're all busy fighting the T-62s. See, so yeah, I'll see you there when I see get to the bombers. Oh, there are 51s over there. Okay guys, here we go. Finally get to these B-17s, they're probably going to bomb our base before we get there. This B-17 dropped his load. But it's not enough to take out the base. Got it. And that's game. Yeah! Suck it! Yeah, thanks a lot, Guka. 262 is the best. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so the 262 was a fantastic aircraft. It was good at, it did take out uh, P-51s back in the day, but the P-51s could match with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, like and subscribe to become a warbird today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of War Thunder. Guka, say bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay, uh, Guka, Guka. Fart. Yep. Oh, oh, hot dog, hot dogs. <laughs>